Hi, this is Heidi and Rod, and we are up at the Northern Michigan Garden today, and we're just topping off all the hanging baskets and the planters down here at the water. So the planters we use are the crescent planters. They're a self-watering planter. And uh, during the summer, we fill these about every five to seven days or so. And in the fall, we can go about every two weeks between needing to refill them. Um, part of the reason is, is the plants during the summer, it's a lot hotter and they're using up water a lot faster than what they do here in the fall. Uh, so this here is a crescent planter. Once Rod gets it filled up, there's a drain hole on the side that it's going to release any excess water that is not needed in that pot. So basically, as soon as the water gets as full as that side drain hole, the water's going to start uh, pouring out of there. There's an indicator on the top that also tells him when it's full. Although we typically don't really rely on those indicators, we more kind of do it by feeling the pot and seeing how full it is. You can see every once in a while, it's starting to dribble out. As soon as it gets really full, it's gonna just start pouring out constantly. So you can see there it comes out. Uh, the other planters we use here up at the lake are the weekender hanging baskets. And these are also a plant that's kind of self-watering or a planter that's self-watering. So this hanging basket here also has a water reservoir in it. And typically during the summer, the water reservoir can go about every three or four days in between needing to fill it up. So that's really nice for having the baskets up here where we're not always here. Also, we have drip irrigation on these so that when these planters do start to get dry, the drip system also has helped kind of replenishing them. But with that water reservoir, if the drip doesn't keep up while we're gone, that water reservoir is definitely an added bonus. And here too, we just got done filling it and you can see it's dripping a little bit because it got to the point where it hit the overflow and released any excess water that was up there. Uh, something too that we just installed up here at the Northern Michigan Garden that helps with this is um, we just got a really nice new no, uh, hose reel. And before what we were doing is kind of piling up the hose down here at the bottom of the, uh, down here at the bottom in the grass. But now with this hose reel that we got from Giraffe Tools, we're able to keep the hose really wound up nicely and just kind of sits here on the back here of the platform for our shed. So this is a great stainless steel hose reel and it works really nice. As we crank the hose, it kind of, it'll feed the hose back and forth so that it lines up nicely and doesn't all just sit in one spot there on the reel. So this has been really nice for us too, just to kind of keep everything tidy down here and have a nice secure place to keep our hose when we're not using it. So we're thankful for that new addition to the Northern Michigan Garden. So it's a beautiful fall. Colors haven't started changing quite yet. Um, but it is definitely starting to get a little bit more brisk during the day and during the night. And uh, we've done a little transformation also on the containers, transformed them over to more of a fall look. Uh, this one here we did not do yet because it's still looking pretty nice. So it has the diplodenia, the cladium, uh, and we did put some anemone in there. So the anemone is kind of the fall twist to this container. Um, where over here, the one that we started off with, this one we put a bunch of heuchera and also caryopteris. Now this is, I believe it's a little bit of sunshine in here. So those are definitely fall plants. As it starts to get cold, that heuchera is gonna to continue to look nice with its foliage. And then that caryopteris has just got that great lime green foliage as well. And you can see that the soft blue flowers are also just waiting to explode with color here in this planter. The one in the middle, the palm tree, once it gets cold, the palm tree is definitely gonna take a dive. But the plants that we put underneath, we put some kale and creeping jenny, and then also some of the dicondra silver falls. So we'll see how long this one lasts when it gets cold. The kale will last pretty good. The trailers, I'm not sure how long those will last, but again, more foliage color just for the beautiful fall uh, accented look. Uh, the hanging baskets, once it gets cold, these are definitely gonna turn black, the fern will turn black, the sun patients will also turn black. So we'll know when these are ready to go and we'll probably be replacing these with mums depending on how long these last. 
Um, but we just want to hold on to summer a little bit longer here and love the look here of the sun patients because they're just so easy to take care of and ferns too. I mean, that's just a, just a really easy plant for us to have up here when we can't constantly babysit the planters. This is Heidi and Rod from Garden Crossings.